Hello everyone, we are Cowgirl Chocolates and we are going to pre be presenting our case study on Cowgirl Chocolates. Overview. The company was started in Moscow at Hall in 1997 by Marilyn and her husband. Marilyn and Ross were original artists but expanded into publishing a magazine in 1995. To help fund the magazine, Marilyn decided to go into making chocolates. She found a local candy company to produce the chocolates, and she and her husband established Cowgirl Chocolates, a hot and spicy chocolate combination. However, Cow chocolate, um, Cowgirl Chocolates was started to help pay for Marilyn's true patient high ground magazine which could not fund itself. The problem though was that Cowgirl Chocolates was not making money as expected. In fact, it was making Marilyn tap into her savings as well as creating debt. Cowgirl Chocolates was losing more money than making it and that needed to be fixed. The next thing we're going to look at is the SWOT. Um, SWOT can be broken up into internal and external effects. Taking a look at the internal effects, there's strengths and weaknesses. For the strengths, the relationships Cowgirl Chocolate has with Seattle Chocolates, which has opened some doors for them. Um, the leadership um, is dedicated and passionate, which r is a good strength for them. The reputation and quality, they have run many um, awards at the two main Fury Food competitions in the United States as well as um, not just for their chocolates, but their excellent packaging. And another strength is your, their unique product offering. Now taking a look at its weaknesses, the first weakness is its price. Um, the price is more expensive chocolate compared to competitors. Um, another weakness is the locations. There's a lack of locations where customers can go and get the product. Um, another weakness is its brand. It does not have a strong brand that can really carry it. It's not a known name. As well as the customer information. There's a lack of tracking capability to determine the customer base, like who likes the product and who's actually buying it. As well as product offerings. Um, various product offerings that do not have high volume of sales are created by Cowgirl Chocolates. Now taking a look at the external opportunities and threats. For opportunities, um, there's new technology which they could look into more, an increase in online, shop online shopping, globalized um, market space. The second is a seasonal demand, demand for seasonal items or themed items to go with um, holidays, birthdays, things like that. The next one is um, new customer trends. There's a trend towards organic foods and healthier choices, which could be an opportunity for them to go into, as well as international expansion going into the foreign markets. Now looking at threats, the two main threats are competition. The competition is already the people producing chocolate in the market, the more established brands, as well as new competitors entering the market, and economic situation. Um, in a downturn, excuse me, in downturned economics, gourmet chocolate offerings are less likely to profit. Some of the issues facing uh, Cowgirl Chocolates include its product offering it offers a various number of unprofitable products. Some distributors commented that spicy chocolates were not really suitable for their mainstream uh, chocolate consumers. The price also, as mentioned earlier, is high in comparison to its competitors, as well as packaged in smaller containers um, compared to the other offerings. In addition, the location of where the Products can be found are varied. Uh, they, Cowgirl Chocolates has encountered 
many challenges in trying to sell both in retail and wholesale markets. Although the company sold in places such as museums and local organic shops, they have not seen as much success as they would like to. And although there are a third of sales on the web, the company really hasn't dedicated enough resources to enhance the growth of its presence online. Um, in addition, there is a really high level of inventory as well as a high production cost that goes into creating the packaging for the chocolates. There's also a lack of targeted marketing. There have been various marketing campaigns but have resulted in temporary increases of sales but not long-term continued interest. As well, we mentioned earlier, there's a lack of tracking and knowledge about the customer base and the brand may detract customers just based on the motto and may not attract women especially, more appealing towards men, eliminating some of the large customer base. Next are strategic alternatives. The first alternatives, alternative, seasonal opportunity, advantage, increased sales growth during seasonal time periods, ability to decrease a sales inventory, ability to increase the brand to consumers, disadvantages, unsteady cash flow, loss of brand integrity, potential, in temper, potential temporary shortages from supply chain flavor products so that results higher costs and expenditures. Second alternative, focus on the core products offering. The company currently has more than 10 products. Some of the products such as gift cereals and hot dessert sauce, the cost of making those products is high, but those generate low sales. Advantages, to improve performance, focus and invest more on products like the spicy chocolate truffle, which generates 50% of the total revenue. Decreased operation and supply chain management cost. By focusing on profitable product leads, the company could reduce the cost. From procurement perspective, for example, better economies of scales can be applied with higher purchase volume of raw materials to receive better pricing from suppliers. From inventory management perspective, higher inventory turnover rates that could mitigate the risk of carrying inventory such as spoiled and past expiration dates. Disadvantages, De dis decrease in product varieties, smaller customer markets, risks on supply chain increase as the sales now relies more on those profitable pro products. As a result, stable quality, competitive pricing and better customer responsiveness are required to be in place. Third alternative, further expand website capability and online sales. The level of acceptance for spicy chocolate could be low in certain cultures such as US. The company could try to advertise the sale and sell the products to online sales, especially to those countries that have higher acceptability for spicy food such as Mexico, Hungary, Korea, India, and or Southeast of Asia. Advantages. Potential opportunities to increase sales and revenue by increasing its market share. Target new markets with spicy tests. Low initial costs are needed to expand business to foreign countries. Disadvantages. Increased uncertainties and risks to get into the foreign markets. Logistics and operation costs are increased. Operation and management complexity is increased. Strategic alternatives. Strategic alternatives. First alternative, seasonal opportunities. Advantages, increased sales growth during seasonal time period. Ability to decrease excess inventory. Ability to, decrease, to increase the brand to consumers. Disadvantages, unsteady cash flow. Loss of brand integrity. Potential 
temporary shortage from supply chain flavor products so that results higher cost in expenditure. Second alter alternatives. Focus on the, the core product offering. The company currently has more than 10 products. Some of the products, such as gift cereals and hot uh, dessert sauce, the cost of making those products is high, but those generate low sales. Advantages. To improve performance, focus on focus and invest invest more on product like the spicy chocolate truffle, which generates fifty percent of the total revenue. Decrease operation and supply chain management cost. By focusing on profitable profitable product these, the company could reduce the cost. From pro procurement perspective, for example, better economies of skills can be applied with higher purchase volume of raw materials to receive better pricing from suppliers. From inventory management perspective, higher inventory turnover rate that could mitigate the risk of carrying inventory such as spoiled and past expiration dates. Disadvantages Decrease in product various varieties, smaller customer markets, risks on supply chain increase as the sales now relies more on those profitable products. As the result, stable quality, competitive pricing, and better customer responsiveness are required to be in place. Third alternative. Further expand website capabilities and online sales. The level of acceptance for spicy chocolate could be low in certain cultures such as U.S., the company could try to advertise and sell the products to online sales, especially to those countries that have higher acceptability of for, uh, for spicy foods such as Mexico, Hungary, Korea, India, or Southeast of uh, Asia. Advantages Potential opportunities to increase sales and revenue by increasing its market share. Target new market with spicy taste. Low initial costs are needed to expand business to foreign countries. Disadvantages. Increased uncertainties and risks to get into the foreign markets. Logistics and operation costs are increased. Operation and management complexities is increased. Stra strategic decisions. Out Cowgirl Chocolates has the ability to utilize technology to its advantages. The strategic decision Marilyn should deploy it is to increase its access to international customers through online marketing and sales to assess customers who have a preference for spicy foods. Implementation plan. Uh, target market, Cowgirl chocolates will now be targeted in international market customers who do not have an access of buying their products but prefer spicy foods. Service offering. Cowgirl Chocolates will need to conduct market research to analyze which countries will be interested in buying the products online. Also, the ideal countries would be where the, cons where the consumers buy the products online and prefer spicy products. Place uh, distribution strategy. Cowgirl Chocolate will need to develop an international shipment plan and offer a variety of options, including expedited shipping and first-class mail in the future. They could build relationships with local distributors to decrease supply chain cost. Price strategy. Product price would increase in foreign markets to take additional shipping cost and marketing efforts into consideration. Promotion and advertising. Cowgirl Chocolate will introduce a new online catalog for the foreign market based on the consumer's taste. Uh, marketing materials will be translated into the local languages. Thank you for your time and watching our presentation. I hope you enjoyed.